Good morning. Uh, today we are progressing towards the evaluation of the distress opportunities which you might face. And I'm using an approach here which I call the balloon man approach. Uh, it is something that I often apply and you will see on the last slide that uh, this is uh, one, I will show you one example of such an analysis. The balloons assessment is something that I use. Uh, and as we said earlier, you can use whatever you want to, but this is one that works for me. And it gives me some information. And the reason is very simple. I'm using balloons as an analogy because balloons are really fragile and it represents all the resources within an organization that we must judge. And you will see that I talk about balloons within balloons. So they all contribute, but the fragility, and you will see the arrow picture, uh, informs us uh, about uh, really how fragile the elements of a business can be, and which can make it go into distress very easily. So it's about what questions do we ask to make sense before we make a judgment on a reasonable prospect. This slide really contains everything that we talk when we talk about the balloons assessment. You will see a person representing the directors or the management of the company, and uh, they must uh, look at the following. Firstly, is there demand? Now, demand is made up of many things that I'm quickly going to run through. It is a request for your product, your value that you are offering. What is the demand? Uh, for it, on what part of the demand are you focusing? Uh, what trends are happening into your demand? Uh, is technology starting to play a role? And what specific segments uh, do you look after? Then we have to look after the appropriation capacity. If you have demand, can you appropriate it and do you have the capacity to do so? Looking at the specifically the management, uh, it's always very important. Do you have a supply chain in place? Can you do the production if necessary? What is your stock turnover? What is the human capacity uh, that you have to do the job? So once you have the demand, can you appropriate it? And then if you can appropriate it, can you do it at the profit? And the profit model is very important. We talk about turnover growth, margins. Uh, what is the debt situation like? What ratios do we consider for this specific business? What's the variable cost? What is the fixed cost? And then finally, at what price are you competing with? So can you do it profitably at the price that you are doing it? Then if you have a profit model and it is profitable, what is your liquidity situation? What is the time to positive cash flow if you must restart? the business. What is the burn rate? How much money are you burning? How, what is your cash cycle from money getting going out to money coming in? What's the question flowing in, flowing out? How big is it? At what time is the money flowing? Crucial question. And then finally, we have to look at fatal caveats. A fatal caveat typically today we will see is something like coronavirus that hit us, which created a lockdown. And that, how is that influencing demand, appropriation capacity, profit model, and the liquidity? So the fatal caveats are very important within the environment that you are working. And you have to ask, how is the shareholders looking at this? What is the creditor's view on this? What caused the distress, as we discussed in the previous videos? Uh, what is the severity of the distress? Say, for instance, you do not have demand, it's a lockdown. What is the origin of it? And is there still an opportunity? And that is the crucial one. And those ones will determine where the new money will flow in. PCF, post commencement finance. Can you obtain it? And you can only obtain it if the rest of the balloons are in the air and it's hanging there for you to do. Now here is a typical map that I draw up and I make a comment or a judgment on each of those things you can see. For demand, I will make a comment on the status of that. So do I do for Every single thing, the one that I haven't spoken about in the previous uh, video is the one at the left bottom. 
uh, the rectifiable caveats? Are there things that can be rectified? And you can see the cross and the plus and the zero there in the left-hand corner. And I would then use them to populate every single one of those elements. And that gives me an idea, as I will show you now in the uh, next slide. Here is a real-life uh, diagram that I've used for a business recently. And you can see how well, my comments turned out. And if you follow the squares, there was an appropriation capacity. The, we are not sure about the demand. The profit model was bad with the cross, so was the cash flow. And so on, I marked every single one of those with the comments and included that into a report. But if you just look at the balloons, and you can see that the biggest problem was there in the profit model and the cash flow. So if those things cannot be fixed, then the business is in uh, real trouble. So in the end, you have to make a decision. Is there a reasonable prospect? Does a distressed venture show this opportunity for us to pursue? Or should we not pursue it? In the next video, I will look at the canvas approach, which is slightly different, but it's maybe also explanatory of the same five issues that we have discussed.